back to my channel. Today we're going to do a what I eat in a day, focusing on high protein recipes because I'm trying to gain muscle and I want to stay full longer so we're going to really put a focus on getting a lot of protein today. To start though, I'm going to be taking a ginger shot. I take these every day, or at least I've been trying to in the last few weeks, but they're actually homemade ginger shots and they're super easy. I make them without a juicer or anything so I have a recipe on uh, my channel maybe a couple of vlogs ago with exactly how I do it in the blender. But you just take fresh ginger, turmeric, coconut water, apple cider vinegar, vinegar, lemon, pepper, and some cayenne and throw it into the blender. And then you get this. You just strain out all the uh, tough stuff and you get a nice ginger shot. So let's go ahead and start the day with this. I have to take it in two. I'm not that strong yet. Oh, okay. Done. They're so easy. They're so affordable to do compared to buying it at the grocery store. If you buy it at a grocery store, it's literally around $3 a shot versus now that I have all the infrastructure for it, the ingredients, you just basically buy one lemon and fresh ginger. It's like $5 at the grocery store and I'll make seven shots so shout out to Heidi who taught me that but that is the way I try to start my day is important they say it's good to start that to take that shot on an empty stomach and again I will list the benefits here I think I've done that before but it's just good to remind everyone kind of why I take it and what it does for me and I think it sets me up for having a great day I actually have an autoimmune disease which is one of the big reasons why I focus so heavily on what I'm actually putting into my body I'm really trying to, my autoimmune disease really causes a lot of inflammation in my body. So any anti-inflammatory foods that I can incorporate on a daily basis that I actually enjoy, I try to incorporate. So I try to have a lot of ginger, I take turmeric supplements, and I also can get sick a lot because my immune system is suppressed with some of the medicine I'm on. So these shots are like a absolute no-brainer for me and I've been loving being in the routine of taking them so anyway let's get started with the day I think for breakfast I'm gonna make baked oats but make it the right way and actually bake them so I make these pretty much all the time but um, I'm gonna do it the right way the original recipe so you guys can see so let's get started on breakfast okay we're gonna preheat the oven to 375 okay so the reason I even discovered this recipe is because I kind of was infamous for not eating enough breakfast. I didn't think I was hungry in the morning and I just wanted to save all my food for lunch and dinner because I thought I like like those meals better, whatever. And I would end up, I, I work nine to five and I would end up at like 11, 10 being like, oh my God, I can't wait for lunch. I'm starving, I'm so hungry for lunch and like trying to wait till 12, which just was a vicious cycle. So about probably over a year ago now, but I started trying to have like a really big breakfast that has a lot of protein, is filling, and is satisfying, and then I, that I like it. And so I found this recipe for baked oats. I'm a big chocolate girl, so I love having a little sweet treat in the morning. I know it's not for everyone. Some people are like savory only in the morning, which I respect, but these oats are so good. I literally go to bed thinking about being excited to eat them in the morning. They keep me full. I put protein and powder in them to make sure I'm getting my protein serving for the meal. And it's just like, feels like a treat, but it's actually just like a great meal. So what I do, I'll put the recipe here. It's really easy. It's just banana oats, protein powder, some vanilla extract and almond milk, and then you bake it. So I'll show you how I do it. And then you'll see, it's so yum. Okay, so for this one, I'll do a whole banana. I have my oats, I just use like old fashioned rolled oats. I have my protein powder. This is our favorite brand of protein, Orgain. We've tried multiple different flavors, love them all. They just taste really good. And this is um, chocolate peanut butter flavored. I've done it with just chocolate too, but I think my favorite is having a little bit of peanut butter taste in it. So this is super good, so. And then I put a little bit of baking soda and vanilla extract in there so that it, it puffs up, so. Put that all in the blender and then we just get the batter going and we'll put it in the container to bake. And then I just put it in this little glass like tupperware that I have, but you can do any kind of small ramekin sort of baking dish like that. 
So I like to spray it with some olive oil spray for just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'll pour it in. Next is the best part. I put a few chocolate chips in. So I like to have a few layered. So I'll put a few in mix and then I'll put a few on the top. so that it's not all the toppings at the very top. So once you have them mixed in, I put a couple more on the top. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's done. You can see it kind of puffs up like a cake on the sides. I like to leave the middle a little uncooked because I like to get like a, a little gooey. So I'll mix it up and I'll show you. Do this, so you can see the inside has a little bit of gooey, but the outside is this like cakey, muffiny texture. Bon appetit. Sitting on the ground just because it's comfy, but here are the oats. They are a little hot. So <laughs> give it a second before you eat them. But yeah, you can bake it for longer or shorter, just depending on how cooked you want the inside to be. Like I said, I like mine a little gooey because there's nothing raw in it. There's no raw egg. There's no, there's nothing you're actually baking. So I like having the moisture. So good. Also, one little thing I like to implement. This was my New Year's resolution. I feel like it's working. I used to drink water with breakfast. If I fill this up, early in the day I'll drink a ton of it but it's just like a matter of filling it up so and I think it's working because I think when I have oats like I actually get thirsty like I think I'm training myself like a dog kind of so anyway I try to have one of these whole things by like lunchtime I think it's 40 ounces or something like that but I live by this water bottle yeah just gonna finish my oats it's nice having a slow morning and not going straight into work. It's lunchtime. It's a really, really nice day. It's almost hot. I just took a little walk and I was like kind of sweating. So I think I'm gonna make a smoothie for lunch, a protein smoothie. And then I think I'm gonna have some toast. So this is my favorite Trader Joe's bread. I swear by this sourdough bread. I think no other bread's the same. So I'm gonna toast a piece of bread and I think I'm gonna have some cottage cheese on the side for my extra protein. And I actually like putting the cottage cheese on this toast. It's weird. It's definitely weird, but it's really good. And it's a really easy way if you like cottage cheese to get a lot of protein in. So I'm gonna do blueberries, banana, spinach, chocolate protein, and almond milk for my smoothie, and then toast and cottage cheese. Kind of weird, but it's what I'm craving. It sounds good. Okay, here's my lunch. <laughs> Looks weird, but it's gonna be good. So we've got my protein smoothie, and then a bowl of cottage cheese. In this bowl, there's 28 grams of protein, and then I like to just have toast with it. I feel like you either grew up with a family that ate cottage cheese, and you love it, and you think it's normal and not weird, or you think it's absolutely disgusting because the look of it, it's gross. But the, oh, let me show you the kind of cottage cheese. We've recently tried a new brand that we absolutely love, but even this is just so simple, but it's so good. So if you want to go out. Okay, this is the brand, Good Culture. It is literally so good, yeah. 14 grams of protein per serving, and I do a cup, so it's two servings. So yum. Let's try the smoothie. So good for like, I did not want smoothies in the winter because it's too cold, but it's really turning spring. It's so nice out today, so it felt fitting. Also, one more tip if you work from home, and I'm not the best at it, but I try to eat my lunch not at my desk. I feel like when you eat at your desk, the whole day blends into one and it's just kind of torturous and sad. And when you really break up the day and enjoy your meal sitting at a table or on the couch or whatever, but just away from your desk, away from your computer, so you're not reading like emails and IMs while it's coming through, I feel like it really helps you kind of just break up the day and then actually enjoy your meal. So 
I'm not always good at it. I definitely am guilty of eating at my desk a lot, but when I can, I try to do this. It's also the afternoon and I'm going to make myself my afternoon latte. So I've successfully weaned myself off of coffee first thing in the morning. That's another thing I used to have a bad habit of is I would drink my coffee and it would kind of like fill me, like, you know, decrease my appetite and I wouldn't eat a big breakfast. I would just sip on a coffee and have coffee on an empty stomach, which they say, I don't know who they is, but all the health experts say that that's not good for you. So I've successfully weaned myself to have like my full breakfast, usually a ginger shot on the empty stomach, full breakfast, a whole bottle of water. And then I will let myself have coffee whenever I crave it next. So right now I'm going to have it for a little afternoon pick me up. It's one o'clock after lunch. So I'm going to make a quick latte and then finish the work day. So I have an espresso machine that we actually really like. I'm pretty into espresso over coffee lately. So when I go to Starbucks, I get shaken espressos. When I'm at home, I usually make lattes with almond milk and vanilla. Nothing crazy, but I'll show you how I make it. dinner so as you guys know we're really focusing on trying to get a lot of protein in and just having healthy whole foods in a yummy way so my one of my favorite dishes lately I feel like I've talked about it a few times on the vlog but I don't think I've shown it is this kind of sweet potato skillet meal I basically it's nice because it's a one pot meal or pan so you don't dirty up a ton of things it is a lot of chopping so if you have one of those choppers it would actually be really helpful but um, it does require chopping, but you cook everything in like a big, if you have a cast iron skillet or any sort of like big pan will work. And you basically layer a bunch of vegetables, mix it with ground turkey and top it with kind of, it's kind of like a chili, but there's no broth, there's no beans. So I'll show you the ingredients. I'll put the recipe here so that you guys can have it for reference. And then I'll also have it course like I've said before in the description below um, but this is one of my favorite go-to meals because it's super high in protein I think one serving of this is almost 40 grams of protein um, because there's a good amount of ground turkey in there and then it's good healthy carbs healthy fat with avocado on top and it's just delicious so let me start getting out all the ingredients another great thing about this meal is it makes four big servings like Garrett and I eat a lot of food <laughs> we're big eaters and so the serving size is pretty good and it makes four. So we usually will split half the skillet for dinner and then we'll have Tupperware up half the skillet for lunches or dinner the next day, which is great. So I have everything um, laid out and I'll show you. Okay, so here's everything all laid out and you can tell it's colorful, which like is always a good sign to me. It means it looks healthy. We're getting a lot of nutrients. We've got a ton of veggies. We've got our yummy cheese we've got kale that will melt down it's gonna be really delicious so let's get chopping the one thing it does require is a lot of chopping also another note on this particular meal i like to do all the chopping at the start so then you're just adding things in and it's really easy if you're trying to chop as you go it probably would take you less time because you would overlap with the cooking time but to me it's a little stressful so i just chop everything so that's what you're gonna see me do right now i'm gonna chop everything up right now and then when it's time to cook dinner which is now, but when I'm ready to cook and we're ready to eat, it's more just layering things in. So let's get started on that. that has really helped me I think with food is I just really try to think of when I'm trying to do anything and feel my best I think of what can I add in not what can I take away so I'm always trying to think of and I feel like I've heard people say that all the time but it really does help so like instead of you know like 
taking being any sort of restrictive diet because it just doesn't work for me I just try to add a bunch in so this recipe I'm adding a zucchini I'm adding in squash I'm adding in cauliflower I'm adding in extra kale all this stuff to add in instead of taking or restricting anything and then I'm feeling like so good after and so it's just one of my favorites so I have everything chopped here's everything prepped and ready to go so I literally do this entire bowl of kale it looks like a crazy amount but it really wilts down so it's just a ton of veggies and protein it's so good turkey's cooking I'm also just gonna measure out in here all my spices so I can dump it in again anything I can do ahead of time is worth it so I'll double check but I think garlic paprika chili powder cumin okay so now that we have the ground turkey cooked we're gonna cook all the veggies and then we add it at the end and mix it all together I've also prepped the toppings to top our bowls so we're in final assembly mode This is what it should look like after the 12 minutes are done. So you can see there's some churring on the sweet potatoes. Onions are translucent. And so they're definitely cooked through and we're ready to add the next step. So we're gonna add all these veggies. So I top it with sour cream, green onion, jalapeno, and avocado. Mix it all together, but it looks delish. Yes. Rating on your skillet meal. 11 out of 10. It's my favorite <laughs> meal of the week. I also like to end every night with a little sweet treat. And I just made these, and they're pretty good. I mean, they're definitely not a Girl Scout cookie or a chocolate chip cookie, but um, they're these little dates that I stuffed with almond butter and then topped with some chocolate and sea salt. But they've been really good for a little, uh, little treat at the end of the night, so. So good. So, hold on, <laughs> I can't talk now. So anyway, that's going to end off my what I eat in a day vlog. I hope that was helpful to think of some new recipes or things to eat. I definitely am a creature of habit and eat the same things. So I kind of hyper fixate on different meals and make them all the time. So hopefully that some of them are new to you guys and you can figure out something new to add to your routine, something to add in to make it a little healthier, add more nutrients. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.